All right, so today we're going over the Open Cannabis Database. So say you want to record how your strain goes, uh, grows over a series of time, and you want to track it via Grow Journal. Um, and say you've added, maybe you have some IoT sensors that are interchangeable with Python or C Sharp, or you're a little bit snazzy and you just got censored from science scientific atlas or atlas scientifica something like that or you got a school project or maybe you're a researcher something like that this project's for you basically it allows you to tie in your cameras your sensors your uavs geospatial data all at the plug all at the fingertips of your hand and you can distribute that any way you'd like say you need to automatically select phenotypes of one plant say all of these right here are um two plants like uh Gorilla Glue, Pineapple Express, Gorilla Glue, Pineapple Express, Gorilla Glue, Pineapple Express, and you need to develop phenotypes of each individual strain, so it, this can automatically do that. Um, and it's also kind of a growth journal, and it's uh, interactable with a server, so you can deploy it on multiple instances. So let's go to installation, shall we? All right. Basically, what you're going to need to do is go to the homepage, Open Cannabis Database, and you're going to need to follow these instructions. You're going to need to Python. You're just going to basically need to install um, uh, Python through Anaconda. And then you got to do pip install all of this. And then pip install plant CD. And then conda install plant CD. And then from there, uh, you're going to go to this little section right here. Download the zip. Uh, OK. Download this up again. Uh, I've already downloaded it. So once you've downloaded it, go here, open the file. Uh, I've already extracted it and sent it to my desktop, but this is what it's going to have. It's going to have a few Python programs. Uh, once you go to your desktop, say you extract it there, uh, you're going to go to this file, open this file in Spider. So if you're on Windows, just look up Spider. It's going to be that, okay? Copy and paste that code or open that code into here. Click Run. It'll start going here. Type that address bar into here. It'll give you a dashboard. This is only coming up because I don't have the sensor plugged in. I did other models of this with sensors. Uh, you can model your growth rate. You can model your EC based on the age of the plant. You can see the um, electric conductivity values of everything. PPM, humidity. Um, and there are a few things that you can do to inject. Okay, so uh, if you want to inject data into your CSV data, say you um, have edited this file to go to your Pacific CSV file. For instance, let's open up that CSV file. You have a few indicators listed. So you have growth rate, EC, pH, soil moisture, humidity, water use, phenotype, height, width, temperature, end value, P value and K value, the cur current growth rate, and that repeats. So those are your few indicators that you can type in. So say if you wanted to type in plant, um, the name of the plant, the indicator, the day that this indicator was um, noted at, and then the value of that partic particular indication um, can be put in. So let's see. Go to the dashboard. We can come in here. So let's say we have, let's go to the very bottom of this so you know I'm not bullshitting you. Sherbert. Okay, we're not even going to do that. Okay. We're going to go to Gorilla Glue. Number four, pH, mm 
one, day one, and the value is 6.2. We submit that, may or may not come in. Figure out why. Might be because I haven't adjusted the whole script to um, fit everything, so that might be it. Okay, make sure the file is the same and everywhere that you type. So there are a few places where you have to indicate the file name. Crap, I love it. Let's try them again. Try submitting that. Okay, so it's registered that it's been submitted. Let's check the file. Ah, so we have it in there. So that's how to use and download this little itty bitty piece of software. Um, there are examples for how to connect your Arduino sensors to this. Um, and if you want, you can actually customize this to go into any um, database that you wanted to or load up if anyway it's just kind of a thought process to go behind it because I feel like it's not really been done yet all right thank you guys